Nurse Kanchana Thornton is hearing a heartbreaking and familiar story. Nyai Lagu fled from strife-torn Myanmar to Thailand, desperately seeking medical treatment. There was an airstrike and everyone was running. Someone ran into me and I fell and broke my hip. Ms Thornton is a Thai and Australian citizen who began her nursing career in Sydney. She went on to set up the Burma Children Medical Fund in the Thai border town of Maesot, a charity for kids on both sides of the border. <laughs> when patients' needs are too complex for local clinics, Ms Thornton finds hospitals who'll take them and pays the bills. What I know and learn from Australia, if you have good healthcare system, you know, you can get things fixed, treat, and the children can, you know, grow up and have a future. These days, her team helps adults too. And with Myanmar's health system crumbling following the military takeover two years ago, demand is rising. This anti-coup protester is being fitted with a prosthetic arm, printed on site. <laughs> One day we were driving to a village and a heavy weapon dropped in front of us and exploded. I felt heat on my arm and then I saw I'd lost my hand. We only touch the tip of the iceberg of all the problems that inside. We only see, able to see the one that have access to come across the border. With no sign of the conflict in Myanmar easing, Kanchana and her team know they're only going to get busier and they don't want to turn anyone away. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The Juntas promise to hold elections this year, but few Burmese people believe the vote will be free or fair, and they fear more bloodshed around it. Mazoe Ford, ABC News, Maysot.